Bastard and number one, for the love of God. Uh, ready, Paul? You ready for the viewer mail? Ready for the viewer what mail. What is your feeling? This is our first batch of viewer mail of the new year. How do you feel about it? I have a feeling it's going to be uh, hotter than thou. A, a powerhouse. Powerhouse. Hot. Laugh packed. Hot. Like they used to say on Saturday Night Live, hot video. Hot video. This is the, the late night place to be, right here on this NBC. Nobody watches anything else. There's nothing else on, is there? No. The CBS late movie is gone. That's canceled. ABC runs like cartoons. That's it. That's it for us. Uh, here we go. Letter number one. And keep in mind, we're operating under the comedic theory of the pyramid. We, we build. These first few letters are solid foundation building blocks of comedy. We're going up to the big, the really big one at the top. <laughs> Letter number one. Dear Dave, is it okay to fall asleep during the show? Awaiting your approval, Don McGill, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Let me, let me get this straight. Is it, is it okay to sleep during the show? <laughs> no. No, it's not okay. It's not okay. What the hell are you talking about? What do you think we're doing here? What kind of a deadbeat are you, pal? No, wake up. Hey, hey, hey! You jerk, wake up! Hey! Thank you. Kind of a building block. Pyramid theory. Up here. That's right. Howard, load up something else for the next one. Letter number two. Dear Dave, our local PBA would like to plan a trip to see a show. We have 45 members in our local and would appreciate it if you could send us tickets for one of your shows. Thank you. Larry Zapor, Long Beach, New Jersey. Uh, you know what they're talking about here. This is the Policeman's Benevolent Association, and we're always glad to help these gentlemen and out, uh, help them out. Uh, I think that they were here uh, last night, as I recall. Forty-five members of the Long Beach, uh, New Jersey local were here for the show. In fact, I'll tell you what, we have a copy of the Long Beach Herald, the morning newspaper. Let's just see if there is any mention of the uh, fact that they were in our audience last night. Uh, let's see here. No. Nope. Low lives run wild, city put to torch, citizens live in fear, crime spree, rampage on boardwalk, armory seized by youth gangs, schools vandalized, mayor held hostage. No, no, gee, you'd think they'd cover something like that and put it in a local paper, don't you? It's a building block. Maybe this is where a window would go in the pyramid. Maybe not a building block. Howard, you ready? Number three. Dear Dave, why in the world did NBC cancel The Fugitive Guy? Oh, yeah. Chris Elliott is my favorite actor, and it was such a fine show. What's the deal, Dave? Steve Taub, Staten Island, New York. You know, it, it was a really good show, and, and Chris certainly is a talented actor. We're all sorry to see The Fugitive Guy, a series that uh, debuted on this program, see that it was canceled. Uh, you know, actually, it didn't really have anything to do with ratings or uh, production problems or anything like that. It was one of those uh, corporation political things, kind of a misunderstanding. You know, I remember it, it happened at a party I was attending with Grant Tinker, the chairman of the network. Uh, Chris, of course, was there, and it, uh, just before Christmas is when it happened, actually. Chris, I really love The Fugitive Guy. I mean, it's the kind of quality programming that we strive for here at NBC. And with the kind of ratings it's been getting lately, it perfectly rounds out our schedule. Mm. You stupid old man! I ought to beat you so and just... Blue! 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 Chris, uh, Blue. Chris, why don't you don't, don't say something you're gonna regret. Blue. Dave, it's a party! Come on, loosen up! Blue. I'm gonna get some chips. Get some chips over here. <laughs> well, okay. So, all right. So, so maybe we're not building a pyramid tonight. Maybe, maybe we're just putting up a mobile home. <laughs> Thank you very much, Howard. Uh, uh, letter number four. Dear Dave, is Paul really as tall as he appears or is he standing on something? 
John Follett, Steve O'Neill, um, State University of New York at Buffalo. Paul, what's the deal here? Now, you're not standing on something to make yourself look taller, are you? No, I am. Uh, I don't even wear, you know, like those high shoes like yeah. Sammy Davis wears. Right? What would it be? Is it just... Uh, is it... I don't know. They, <laughs> they say the camera adds six inches. I don't know whether there's... Yeah, I guess it's just the... Uh, truth to that. Just the angle there, isn't it? Sometimes when you wear vertical stripes, yeah. you know, it gives the illusion sure. that you're taller. I bet that's it. You just look a but, little taller. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. not really, uh, you know... Okay. This is my height. Yeah, All right, thank you very much. My real height. Okay. Yeah. All right, good enough. Howard! It's too late. It's too late, Howard. Yeah, Howard. Uh, letter number five. Dear Dave, as an invaluable service for your fans, you should run an autobiographic, uh, an, an autobiography segment on your show, no matter how brief. Thanks, Mike Poirier, Potsdam College. Uh, that's very flattering, Mike, uh, but you know, really, there's, there's not much to tell that perhaps you don't already know. I was uh, born in Indiana hey, in hey, uh, 19... Hey, read the P.S. Read the P.S. Read the P.S.? Yeah. P.S. Potsdam Bears basketball is NCAA Division Number Three, Division Woo! Three Number One. Woo! Oh. Potsdam Bears, yeah. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. You know, too bad. I, I'm, I'm really sorry, but you know we we don't allow promotional costumes or or mascots in the audience, so I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry, but it's the rule. It's actually an NBC rule. We don't. We don't. Uh, no, no promotional uh, costumes or matter. As a, ma a matter of fact, you three gentlemen in the back here. I'm sorry, you're going to have to leave as well. Do you mind? I'm sorry. I feel I feel badly about it. Thanks anyway. Good night. It's it's just a rule. My my hands are tied, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Howard, we're going to give you one more chance, Howard. You ready? Here we go. One more. Hey, brother man, what it is. When you found what it is. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back with Jay Leno.